I haven't seen the third movie. In fact, I don't think I've even seen the first one much. Um, I've only maybe seen bits of it. I was planning on watching it this week. And I just didn't... It requires stars. And I use stars to watch Dunstan Checks In. <laughs> so I couldn't, <laughs> couldn't get it for free. And I ain't paying for stars until I have a good reason to. I'm used to the Alien games being weird, bad platformers on the SNES. I liked Aliens, and I've seen some of the other ones, and they suck. Burke, we've lost contact with the colony on LV-426. Take Gorman and his team to investigate. Also a thing that I just... I feel like... I have this weird relationship with these movies, because... Yes, sir. I grew up as a kid, like, when I was very, very competitive, like, incredibly, just, I had to win every game I played. I grew up on the NES, and I beat all my friends, and I got the internet, and I had this game, AVP, and I logged on for the first time, and showed these people how good I am at FPSs, and I crushed them into the ground, and I won money at it, like, I really liked that game a lot, and then I moved on to Counter-Strike, and I kept doing it for a long time, like, five years, ended with Halo 1. So AVP was like my intro to professional gaming, <laughs> like, and I hadn't seen the movies then at all. So, you know, I really should watch them. I have this weird relationship with them. I like the two Predator movies. Those are great. And Prey looked good. I need to watch that one. I grew up on Counter-Strike uh, before Source. I was playing it before it became Counter-Strike 1.0. And when it became 1.0, it was kind of a mess. It took them a while to fix. But I wouldn't be opposed to trying it out. <laughs> Xenomania! Acid Rain. Rain is spelled R-E-A-G. -E. Okay. Uh, there was an argument on Prey by huge nerds who didn't understand what Predator was about. And um, I was talking to somebody about Predator 1, actually, specifically, because Predator 2 is way different, but Predator 1 looks like a standard Schwarzenegger movie, and... Oh, it's Doom, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, it starts off with a bunch of one-liners from a bunch of tough guys who can't possibly ever lose, and they're just... They easily take a base, and they're just reason through and then they run into this thing that they can't handle that's hunting them instead and they try to brute force take it down with their macho man stuff and it doesn't work at all and they keep trying until they're all just completely destroyed and only when he stops pretending he's not being hunted does he even start to have a chance and that's what prey sounded like uh which is like that's what predator is to me it's like the humans are definitely the weak ones there. It's supposed to be that way. Oh. I have no idea how to open doors if, if opening doors is even... There it is. <laughs> I had to turn the door on and then open the door. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty good. Um, I had played the AVP... Um, FPS on stream not too long ago. It was a little grainy and hard to do, and it didn't make for great content, I didn't feel like. But it has a campaign I wanted to try and get done. There we go. Our strafe is so slow. Trying to figure out what the buttons are. Oh shit! These these face hugger things are like 
If one gets you, you're just done. You're gonna die a terrible death the way a wasp would kill a spider. <laughs> and yet, in these games, they bite you for like... They're like a little dog biting your, your toes. <laughs> in these games, no big deal. I feel like I'm lost already. This is gonna be the problem with FPS and stuff. This is definitely the way it came, and there's nothing back here, so... Where's my map? That might help. <clears throat> the 2010 AVP game... I was really excited to jump back in it, because again, I have a huge history with it, like, professionally. Before I became a streamer, before I even went to college, um, I dropped out of all that stuff and uh, went to college to get a real job, and kinda didn't succeed, but... <laughs> I kinda did, kinda didn't, but, uh... That game was pretty gross, pretty bad. You could instantly kill players and it would be like an animation and you would just conga line and the player in the back would be the ultimate winner. Hmm. I'm missing something here already. It looks like there's supposed to be like a door here. But how the heck do I get in there? These barrels are not blowing up. There's a friend back there to play with. Finally. Alright. Another thing that <laughs> tends to happen in these games is... I, I think they make the humans way stronger than, uh, than they're supposed to be. Like, they just... You know, you want your doomed space marine guy. You don't want some fragile loser who dies to these things in one, one hit. Um, so usually... The humans are very, very dangerous. The predator is even more dangerous. And the aliens are just fellas. <laughs> just like those scorpion monsters. But they uh they aren't very dangerous usually. You kill them in bulk. They're fodder, they're like zombies almost. This is a very dark game, huh? Like I said, I haven't really seen the first movie, but as far as I understand, there's only one alien in it, right? Like, the whole crew is having trouble with it. And the second one, they get kind of ambushed, so it's not really fair to say the Marines are worthless against them, but... They have a lot of trouble. They kill a bunch of them, but, like... It's not easy. I forget what button opens doors, if I even can. I might be back at the start again, though, like a dope. Am I? Yeah, I sure am. <laughs> I was looking, uh, I was looking for what 4K version of it might be good, because the thing about movies these days, if you actually buy them, is, um, it's kind of random if the 4K video is actually any good at all, or if it's just crappy, or it might be, might even be worse than the Blu-ray sometimes, so I always have to check. And uh, I had come across a guy who had like 35 millimeter film versions of it, and he was talking about how much he loved the movie. And he was in his his little film house, and he had all these posters that are signed and stuff. He sold me on that movie. He made it sound good. Like, Tremors is a really good example, probably THE example of a movie that... It had, like, Blu-ray releases that were worse than VHS. And it hadn't... <laughs> like, and then, uh, the company that did the 4K release recently did an incredible job with it. Um, and fixed that. Owning movies is just not a thing anymore, I guess. 
just kind of collapsed. Battery required. This. Well, this seems like an okay FPS. I would, I would certainly have played it. I played Doom uh, on the N64 or whatever. But it's nothing to write home about, really. Just the enemies are... I think the enemy variety in an Aliens game actually suffers. Like, there's just not that much to pull from. They squeezed a lot out of those movies <laughs> to try and do different things with them. Yeah, like, you can buy all the Predator movies on 4K for, like, 20 bucks. Or you can buy Predator 1 on 4K by itself for 30 and there's, there's a reason. Also, there's like six Predator movies, by the way. I, don't, I have no idea what they, I've never even heard of them. I had no idea what they're about. I've seen the first two and I know Prey just came out and there's like, there's like three more in the middle. I have no idea what those are. Did I get the battery in here or is it just ammo? Oh, face are in a box. Oh, a run button, hell yeah. I'm stepping in this acid. It's burning my boots. I'm in front of the door, I can't I can barely tell, but I am. It's not opening. I think Predator 2 is actually alright. It's not too bad. Mostly because of the actors in it, but like... It's worse than the first one. Is it Gary? Is he who tries to... Onto the predator in the second movie is that what is am I remembering that right? Like he he thinks he can catch it and gets massacred. <laughs> like is that? I th I'm pretty sure that happens, but it's been a while since I've seen it. We have 96% alien. Nice work. 60% mission though. I'm not sure how we could have done better, <laughs> but I guess I got hit too much. I can tell you that the game AVP back in 2000 and whatever, 3, which had a really, it was really snappy and fun multiplayer, like really good uh, to play. It felt good no matter what you were doing. Aliens were impossible to win with though, so you wouldn't play them, but everyone else uh, was good. And they based the Predator off of mostly the second movie. Like he had cloaking and stuff in the first one, but he had the healing and all that other mechanics that he used in the second movie. I guess I'll use this, huh? Like, you could just run away and get a full heal with the... Just, like, magically, you would just use a small amount of your regenerating energy and just get a full heal. And you would you would make a yelling sound like he does in the movie, and um, they would know that you healed the full. The other players would be able to tell. Down the dark tunnel here. <laughs> hey, how you doing? <laughs> well, I guess, you know, I've got a couple days to live. It's fine. I don't want to spoil these movies if you haven't seen them too much, so close your ears. I'm pretty sure 
that aliens it ends in this way where like Ripley and the, and a couple of the others get away on a spaceship that like and then they go into like sleep and a, a facehugger jumps on the cage I'm pretty sure the next movie just introduces that that plane crashed and all of them die <laughs> except for Ripley maybe and she dies later <laughs> Uh, and that is the third movie, and it just goes downhill from that big time. I think they bring her back to life later, as like some kind of alien god. Like she's basically Kerrigan from StarCraft. At the, at the point where it's like, <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, that sounds bad. <laughs> I remember them being bad. I've seen some of those. I remember watching them with my friends and he was like amazed because some guy in the movie had like spinning guns that he could just pull out on his arms. And that was all he cared about. He didn't care about how shitty the movie was. Hmm, that doesn't look safe. I can't believe I got fooled by the exploding barrels here. I watched um, Robocop 2 for the first time because uh, it was on there. It's on YouTube for free right now. Like It's free with ads. If you just go to YouTube and look for free movies, you'll find an official free movies channel and you can just watch it. Um, not great. <laughs> it's not a great movie. But it, it went in a different direction than the first one. Like It wanted to be its own thing. So I can respect the attempt. Apparently the new one, the remake, is... I mean, it's rated high. I don't think I'd like it, but it is... well-received. Oh, I'm on the other side of them now. What am I doing? I wish I knew where to go. Can we turn this on? Hey, give me my... Sh you, you forgot to bring your flashlight. I see. So this game just has pools of aliens permanently on the ground. Acid. Hazard. <laughs> I have to weave around them at all times. Hey there. There's a movie on uh, on the free YouTube thing starring Mark Hamill. <laughs> it's it's called like Time Runner or something. It's one of the worst damn movies I've ever seen. It was so bad. It's about a guy who goes back in time on accident to try and stop an alien-like invasion. He's not an alien in that movie, no. He's a human stopping the aliens who are like snatchers and they are winning some kind of they're about to blow up the earth and then he goes back in time to 1980 or something like a week before he's born so that becomes a plot point too and he tries to stop them and it, it's so bad it was such a stupid movie there's a lot of bad movies on the free youtube thing believe it or not nice blueprints say eh? well not really Building better wads, two wads. Well, it, it's just that YouTube's movies are like volcanoes on there, like movies like that. Once in a while, there's an actually good movie popping up. 
But I, I've been going there to get, like, my generic... It, it's mostly boring stuff, unfortunately. Like, I like to watch bad movies sometimes. Wouldn't recommend that one. <laughs> Even for mockery. <laughs> this might be... Something, now. Hey there. Oh man! Where'd that come from? I hit all the buttons in here. RoboCop 2 was nothing like the first one in terms of like one of the most memorable movies I'd ever seen. This like it was the same kind of thing, like anti-capitalist, uh, decent stuff messaging in, in the back, but like, um, I didn't like the villains or the, it was more of the same, really. Like, it just felt like, um, they couldn't get away from the first one enough to do anything interesting. I was pretty bored with it. It was, it was too long. I was done with it before it was over. I watched it all, but I didn't want to. <laughs> At the end of it, it just wouldn't, wouldn't wrap up. Oh, we done? Okay, we just opened that door at some point. Nice, nice. One of the villains of the second movie was like an annoying 13 year old kid <laughs> and it was a really awkward villain to deal with. I've seen worse movies though. Like, let me figure out what that movie's called, hold on. Time Runner is... It's name, yeah. Boy, howdy. Switch games, I'm just loading this image up real quick. <laughs> ah, this game was okay. It, there's nothing wrong with it, it's just not super uh, interesting to play. Much like this movie is not super interesting to watch. But they basically, they picked up some guy named like Ralph. <laughs> like, the, he stole a plane, and in the back sleeping was the plane's owner, and his name was like Ralph or Jimmy or something like that. And he was just supposed to be like this side character, but he kept on, he kept on saving their asses over and over again. And by the end of the movie, it was, it was clearly him that was like the MVP and hero of the whole thing. Like, he literally saved the human race by himself, pretty much, while Mark Hamill got lost and got beaten up. <laughs> like, he did everything. <laughs> He just showed up like an M16 and blasted the aliens every time they got in trouble. He would just appear and save everything over and over again. It was really... If anything was good in that movie, it was that. Okay, we're gonna load up this one. I'm gonna switch games, actually load up this one. Here we go. This one is called uh, Crusader. No Remorse. Fort in space battles. You can change your vote at any time, so it doesn't block you in or anything. 
My system is designed so that if people are confused and they say, what is this game, it adds what? Like, that was a very important part of my gong system. <laughs> it was very intentional. Like, if you vote stick and then you type, what the hell is going on, you get converted to a what vote. I got rid of survive because it was confusing people. We just have three options now. We have positive, neutral, and negative. Well. Wow, robots are dumb. I thought you had, like, CPU speed. What do you look at that grenade and just think about it for a minute? Imagine having this brain that does 10 million calculations a minute and you're stuck in this incredibly slow, cumbering machine, cumbersome machine. Oh, I love tank controls. I just made some distance in Mega Man Legends 2. Is a loose cannon. First, let me say welcome to the resistance, Captain. I'm sure you realize that Central thinks you're a spy, but I've reviewed your debriefing tapes and I have a hunch that I understand what makes you tick. Enough so that I've persuaded Central to good. give you a chance. One shot to prove your sudden change of heart. You are to spearhead an attack to take a consortium refinery offline, permanently. An informant will meet you there and provide you with a security card that will allow you entrance into the facility. Look at these graphics. Your principal objective is the thermal Too cover bad about the on AI the hands, though. level. Once you have placed the pack, one of our extraction specialists will contact you with coordinates of the nearest teleport pad we can commandeer. Consult your data link if you have any further questions. Good luck. Maxis out. I can force a save, whether I can save in this or not. Oh, this is exactly not what I thought it was. <laughs> yeah. This is extremely not the game I thought it was. Oop. Hey. Hey, man. Are we friends? I guess so. Intruder sighted. Intruder sighted. I'm gonna need this button. Sorry about that. I'm trying to figure out how to open the door, I blasted some guy. I assume we go in here. Thank you. 
What? What the hell is that? Okay, do we want the camera to be this way or? I think this is fine and it's less disgusting, but it, it's harder to play. Hey, okay. I guess we're done here. Let's get <laughs> out of here. I assume there's some button to press to open the door switch or something. Now that we're on PlayStation, I have like 10 keys to try, so. I might need to loot something too. That's, this is weird, but if I hold this button, I'm allowed to jump, and it's just a hopping state. Like, you just hold it, and, and you can leap if you like. I don't see any interact. This is, um, some kind of crosshair mode. I don't, it, it just highlights things that are important. Oh. So obviously we do something with this, right? <laughs> Classic going to a problem. I don't know what button I hit to open it, but it's open. We good. Took some doing. We're crusading again. It's triangle, but it's kind of icky. Like, extremely. I just, like, hit it six times and the sixth press worked and the first five didn't. Intruder sighted. Ah. Intruder sighted. Ah. healer actually that's what it is did you know games aren't allowed to use the uh the red cross symbol i i guess among us got in trouble for this because <laughs> they, they had to change it to blue well so much for that how on earth do i uh Oh, we can turn on occlusion. I th hmm. This? Come on, you. you open one but not the other <laughs> it's so hard to do all right we had to loot the bombs now that i have them we're good oh this shit damn i'm ready to use my spider bombs on the first jerk i see Close the door now behind us. Oh shit! <laughs> uh, they they changed my. I need to. 
I need this to be set to like interact. My, my button pressing button has changed to use item. Maybe we like bomb this place or something. Where's my mission briefing? There, it's done. That time it was the roll button. It's bizarre. Am I leaving? When did this game come out? It's pretty neat. Uh, I imagine it's early 90s, right? PlayStation port of it's a little bizarre, but you know, whatever. We do not leave this way. I'm hitting the button to tell me uh, what. What do you want me to do with that? What? This just highlights things that are important, that are near me. <laughs> I have no idea how to do anything. It's so hard to figure out. And I feel like if I were on keyboard, I would know. I don't know why I can't deduce how to open like boxes and stuff. Like this is a, this is a box. I'm, I'm certain it is now. We know that this is a box. With stuff in it. Hit the button, open the button. I'm hitting the button open and button and it's not buttoning. I switched gun and it, it suddenly worked. Oh shit! On oh, my box! Yeah, I hit L1. This is the L1 button. It does this. It, it tells me that there's something there. Uh, that's what the L1 button does. It just kind of pinpoints things that are important. Thank you for the sub. One, debt pack. Maybe we need to detonate this. Oh, that was to burn a dude earlier. Which is neat to be able to do. What's this? Area secure. Am I going around pushing buttons to confirm that everyone's dead? What? Man. Area secure. Can I <laughs> do not go swimming. <laughs> That's a loud gong. All right, did not work out for me. Well, I bet the game is better on DOS. Everyone will enjoy this one. I've never played it, but I've heard of it. Heard it's great.
Glove up. A Team X. This is all new to me. Oh, damn. Oh, I see. Let's glove. Glove her. Let's glove. Fast sl fist slam. Point to ball. Jump. Okay. Oh, my combo, my card combo got ruined. Embarrassing. I'm enchanted. How is it different from the 64? Like, is the stage different? Big points multiplier for Orban cards. What the hell? Damn, big points. Fist slam the switch. <laughs> okay. Okay, we actually have to uh, do this. Nothing else works. That is cool. You're right, Glover. Hup, 
This game seems like it could be a playable, like, wish I was Wario kind of game. Like, <laughs> like just loving around, wishing I was Wario, doing the same kind of stuff. The game, that's what it feels like. What? How the hell do I get it up here? Damn. Gross. Ugh. <laughs> I think that this game's probably gonna get worse when they're asking me for actual, like... This. Like... <laughs> Precisely. Slap ball. That looks decent. It's so hard to aim, though. Ah! <laughs> oh my god. I feel like they should have known. I was talking about this with Mega Man Legends 2. They should have known what their limitations were and not built the steps to be just right to be annoying. Like, the, the jump height should have been a big part of this. Decision. Got him. Got the value. How do I change orbs? I didn't know I could change orbs. Oh, this kicks ass. This changes everything. Now I think Glover's the perfect game. Love Glover. Hold on, let me get out of the pond. And then get back to pretending this is fun. Alright, having a good time. Where the hell am I going? I'm looking for the cave. I saw it. Hey. What? What? <laughs> okay. This is the HQ. Ball base. Well, there's only five cards left. Why don't we just get them all, right? Yeah, that's collecting time. Where are they at, though? Where could they be? I bet I uh, need an orb still for some of these. What do you get for full card? What the f- Oh, damn, that's up here, I think. What I do when I'm 
out of orb. Cool. That's fun. Anyway, let's go, <laughs> let's go through there. They have all these buttons. There's no run button or anything. What are you doing? Hey. Come on, Glover. I feel like this is like a mini golf course we're on here at the start, but I think it's just world select. Use this orb yet. That is cool. I agree. I forget how to stop it. Destroyed. What crystal? I love when bowling balls bounce, it's great. Easy. It's easy to forget the controls in this, they're kind of weird. They're like not using half of the face buttons for some reason. What does it say? Okay. Oh, my orb's missing. Imagine if you could just summon the orb and you didn't have to chase down the same one. <laughs> I think that would fix the, probably the big problem this game's gonna have. Why is there even a crystal? What the hell's it for? Undo. No. 
This is incorrect. You stupid glove. Well, that's Glover. <laughs> like the level three art. We're getting into it now. So much value. If I just don't collect the cards, then this, this suddenly seems pretty quick. Gonged Glover, how could you? How on earth? I gotta figure out this one last Glover puzzle. What's this? Hercules. <laughs> dang. Figured it out. Dang, dang. Orb. Okay, okay. Just let me get out of this level and then we'll never glove her again today. Uh, so far it's not been that bad though. Like, I thought I was in for Bubsy 3D and I'm in for Bubsy 2.5D. But 3D. Does that make sense? Well, it just has a reputation, you know? <laughs> but... uh, let's see here. I'm not sure what this one is. Taking a look. Okay, well, let's see if it works. This one needs a little help, but I think it will work. I just gotta chug it along. Maybe. Nah, not looking good. I'll come back to this one. Put it in the pile for later. We'll do some grid runner instead.
gamer eyes. This is Japanese. I don't know that it's translated. That's okay. There probably is a translated version of it, though. Like a, you know, Western version. Axel, I'm picking up a distress signal. Any signs of life? Nothing. Well, it's in English, so that's good. Let's go for a closer look. The signals are coming from beyond these doors. Whoa, what's that? Looks like some sort of probe. Damn, that's too bad. <laughs> hey, Kafka. <laughs> yeah. what, what do you think this does? Oh. I never really know if this is like... I assume that going right makes it easier and going left makes it harder, but I never am sure about that. And I think it even differs from game to game sometimes. Anyway, this is a cool ass options menu, couple statues. Even if it's two players, um, does this make it easier? player one or worse I still don't know <laughs> like I never can tell let's go even different -er statues than before taking on Croche on Solaria standard name of a planet. This is extremely not what I thought we were in store for once again. Well, I'm the champ. Take a seat. I've done it again. Uh oh, he's got moves I ain't got. I don't know how to make a cube. I gotta make a cube. Quick. I'm not allowed to get flags because there's no good reason why not. He did something to me. I've been poisoned. Yeah. This is my business now, man. Oh, I see. It's a tag system. <laughs> I guess back to the start. <laughs> You get one try. <laughs> I 
So I guess he's after me now. I, I hit like the R2 button to slow him. I have a gun that does something. I can put cubes down with like L1. I can drop spikes. Sometimes. I have some kind of ammo for it somewhere. Yeah, I just grab the first flag and I just win. It's like it's over. The AI will never catch me. In a million years, he will never catch up to my nonsense. We have so many moves. They're gonna need to put in like 10 players to make this hard. It needs to become bomb. Oh. What's this? Oh, what? Bonus round? Where was the round? That was that was more of a scoreboard. There it is. Why do I have my gun? Yeah! yeah. You can't run off the edge, actually. Here's your password. Okay, this guy's different than before. He can run me over. But can he, though? Let's go. Okay, well, obliterated. There's like 700 flags, you only need four. Oh shit. <laughs> I thought I'd do something slick. Didn't work out. Boy, sure is a tough game. I am the champion of grid runners. This this definitely feels like one-on-one -on -one bomber man levels of boring, right? Like he can't possibly stop me. He's no threat at all. He's like on the other side of the map now, looking for me. He's never gonna catch me. I have 500 tools. I wanna see what these spikes do. Where is he? Hey. He's coming. for that bonus round. Oh, I see. Oh, crap. There's no way I'm going to get it perfect. Now I didn't get enough hourglasses. It's fine. Who, who needs this stuff anyway? Like, whatever. 
cool round. That was fun. Having a great time playing Sonic the Hedgehog here. How do you get in there? My stats. Oh, how quick do you think he is? Just gonna check real quick the, the speed of this guy. The only stat that matters, really. I mean, it's a running chase game, so why do you care about magic or strength or whatever? Look at him go, he's so jogging. <laughs> Man. And you can just drop these. How can you lose? Look how many I can put. What's he gonna do? I think I ran out of juice on those, finally. Yeah, whatever. Listen, you can only put down 600 of those at a time. Alright, that's enough of this game. That was Grid Runner. Jeez, 10 minutes of Grid Runner was enough. games coming up. Last time I played an M M's game it was the first time I've ever snapped a disc in half. There's no more beach party in my house. I I broke it. Fellow, it's time these M&Ms had a little R&R. R&R? Is that a new candy? Are we being phased out? We are going on vacation. Come on. One last thing before we arrive there, Chief. Who did you leave in charge of the candy factory? Hello? It's what? They what? And what? You're turning red. Er. Repeat after me. I did not leave the M&M's Minis in charge of the candy factory. Ah! Has your chocolate melted? Have you gone completely nuts? Well, the Minis aren't that bad. I love the chat. All they need is a chance. <laughs> All you need is a brain donor. Get to the factory, pronto! 
There's a Minnie's mutiny going on. They've stolen the formulas for all the M&M's candies. Stop what those formula minis. could that Find possibly be? Go, go, go! There goes my partner. Hm. There goes my career. Okay. We playing Mario Kart? The kart racer? I have no idea what kind of game this is. It could be anything. It could be another party game. It could be a 3D platformer. That's what I guess it is. It's my assumption. But now they have these cars on screen. That's throwing me off. Oh no. I need to do some audio balancing for him. We speed up or no? That's what we got, huh? Collect the box. Win game. And the blue ones are worth like a hundred. Just straight up. Just look at it go. We have like one, three, and a hundred. That's what the difference in boxes are here. Actually, the brown ones are worth one, and the, the red ones are worth two. And the blue ones worth a hundred. Just straight up, just worth fifty. To... Oh, shit. I got clobbered. One hit, one dead. One dead him and him. That dude's driving down the wrong side of the road. Okay, level level two car stage once again. I was watching a video on the history of mediums and didn't ever think about how we never really had load times until this and we just kind of were like, ah, oh, well, that's... We just accepted this as a cool new thing. <laughs> Good games just take a long time to load. Good games like this. I wish there was no noise when I hit the box. Like, okay. that that very clearly is not hitting me. Hey, <laughs> oh, am I driving down the wrong way here? That's close. They called it shell shocked to make a pun, but like, what? Hey, it has nothing to do with the gameplay though. Is there no button I can Ugh. <laughs> press to speed up? Why didn't I make it? Pause.
There's nothing. Um, there's only D-pad. <laughs> this is D-pad only. Hey. Listen, man. <laughs> What is the deal? I think I just accidentally bounced over it somehow last time. Despicable. Surely, stage three is going to be good. I should get a steering wheel on my USB. We can play this properly. We have to drive to the factory. <laughs> One thing I noticed with this kind of thing is that we had that opening cinematic and, you know, I'm not like a fan of the, the M&Ms or anything, but like, it looked alright. Oh, jeez. And then when you get here, look at the yellow M&M &M in the top right, and just look, the, like, he's on the screen all the time and they couldn't get a decent image of him. Impossible to put that on the UI. No way. Can't be done. Not with technology at the time. This guy's gonna drive right in front of me, yep. Now what? I'm trying to follow this like a trail of bananas. I figure that's the safest way to go, but sometimes it's still deadly. Like that, jeez! I get that the blue ones were well, practically a one-up, but like, if it's if it's there at this point in the game, I feel like it's just a trap. Like this one's just gonna be deadly as hell. I don't know why. No, it's just gonna be free. <laughs> it's just in the center of the road for free. I just, okay, I'll take it. These guys aren't doing anything. Like, you could not have hit those two under any circumstance. Nice M&M's gate. Here goes nothing. Wait, little friend. Maybe it's time to ask who's the best candy for the job. Maybe this calls for the ringer. The top gun. The go-to guy. Nah, you're right. You go. Wish me luck. Miracles happen. Nothing was a pawn, you day. see. They do. If you, if you didn't get it, it's because... Well. Factory map. Level 2 zone A. Oh no. The minis have messed with the milk chocolate. We're in big trouble. The minis have messed with the milk chocolate. You are in big trouble. What? Is he like the supervisor of the M&M's? What's his problem? The only M&M jokes I remember from any of these commercials were they were going to get eaten and they were trying to get away. I don't remember him being a big jerk. <laughs> what is this? Oh no. We got a mix. We got the Battletoads mix of gameplay. I'm out of spins! 
You can run out of spins. Oof. I'm having more trouble with this than probably I should be. But I didn't really ever play too much Crash. Jeez. Crash Bandicoot was a big star at the time. Had PlayStation commercials with him in it, just driving like a truck down the road in a big suit. Looked like Crash Bandicoot. You would never seen any gameplay, ever. Never. You never saw gameplay. You just... Fuck. <laughs> Oops. Uh -oh. Gotta watch the bomb crate here. Oh my. What the? Oops. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. He does that. Get out of here, get dunked. I'm gonna get the game over. Let's hit it. I have so many M&Ms, though. Thanks for the bits. I found a fast way to die. I <laughs> just hold on. I doubt there's another genre in this. But if there is, it's probably even worse. Okay, cool. This is our game over reward. Well worth it. Like that GeoCities uh, text with no background, just yellow text. Okay, well, that was fun. Yeah. What an abomination. What a beast. <laughs> Is that one of the monsters from, like, Dig Dug? What's it doing here? Are they in universe?
Yeah, why did they decide this is what Pac-Man would look like? Given the source material. Why is he an orb? <laughs> an orb with legs and huge gloves. Shiny boots. There's the Pac-Man I'm I'm known. It's a good ass remix though. Kinda makes it all worthwhile. They got the whole orchestra out here. <laughs> Butt bounce. Let me see this real quick. Is this actually just regular Pac Man getting ready to chomp? What? Oh, okay. They're telling you the AI patterns of these. If you if you weren't aware, they actually do different things. In case you wanted to play normal good Pac-Man at slow speed, just like the first version ever. We got you covered. Come back here. Ah, oh, the points reset. That's too bad. I'm going for it. Big bites. These ghosts are faster than me. There we go. Yeah, if you know their AI pattern, you can take advantage of them like that. They're fairly, uh... Ah, they caught me. Got me quartered. I know some people who are really good at this that can, that can steer them around all day long. I don't think it's very interesting, just regular Pac-Man. Like, Miss Pac-Man on the NES is one of my favorite versions because you have a huge variety of stages and you have a speed-up button, and that kind of dynamic really mixes it up. And one of my favorite things that was not at MAGFest this year that I like a lot in the arcade is a four-player competitive Pac-Man. I, I would like to reset, but I... Okay, there we go. It's like when you grab the power pellet, you can eat the other players, and if you run into someone who's your size, you bump them and they go flying, and your goal is to survive. It kicks ass. <laughs> hey, they got a nice island over here, well. Pac-Man's here on Ghost Island! The Pac-Man!
Pac-Man. Uh, I mean that pathetic fool trying badly, I might add, to impersonate you, who is clearly the real Pac-Man. I thought you had captured Pac-Man! Um, we did, see. <laughs> Oops. Ah. <laughs> um. If I had a power pellet, I... A slight I... error on our part. Uh, believe me, it won't happen again. You idiots! My plans are already in motion! Pac-Man cannot be allowed to crash my party! Find him! Nice boat. Uh, it maybe it's just like a, a terrible, one of the worst nightmares ever, fever dream, but I'm pretty sure there was a cartoon of Pac-Man that shouldn't have been made. And it would have this kind of plot if it did exist. Not saying that it did. It did, though. Sorry, it's, it's real. What the hell? You chompable? Yeah. I can barely tell. <laughs> what, what happened to saving your wife? Hey, Pac-Man, get your head in the game. What are you doing up here? What do you need these pellets for? Doesn't even look like the same island. I don't need no hints. Give me that Chaos Emerald. Okay, we're making some headway, I guess. Metal pack. Chrome, I mean. Chrome Pac-Man. Yeah. Pinball man. It's just Sonic the Hedgehog, like the same guy, right? Like he's just... if Sonic can do it, this guy can too. It's the same. <laughs> it's just. I mean, this is this is playable. It's all right. I missed my jump. It went too early. Close. dare you lock me out. Apple up. I paid the fee. The apple tax. Hey, 
<laughs> Into the Dr. Seuss orb eater. random like there's no it's unreactable there's no way i'm moving on either it's random or the wheel inside the slot machine isn't like nine tiles it's like 600 <laughs> What is this? Oh no, we don't want to go back to Buccaneer Beach. Back up. This game is alright. I'm not really a 3D platformer person. This is like 2.5D for the most part, if you ask me. But. If you're into Pac Man for some reason, which I would find a little strange, you could do worse than this, I guess. Figure out how to get up there. If they fix the camera, that removes the 3D element of it. I mean, I guess I'm still I'm still going uh, in and out of the background here a little bit, but it's it's on lanes big time. It's very controlled, very limited 3D when they control it this way. If I can't spin the camera, I don't think of it that way. I'm moving up and down as if I were on a rail, not freely. What the hell is this? Hmm. I don't know what they want from me here. I didn't read enough of the tips. I wonder if I can make that jump and if I'm even supposed to. This goes nowhere, so...
Well, I think I'm pretty bad at like Mario 64 in those kind of games. This kind of game is is so easy that I don't have any trouble with it. But um, that being said, I sure don't know where to go now. Maybe we need this to pr proceed. Like maybe we have to open the orange door to actually get out of here. I'll never get the hang of it. I have, I definitely have a skill limitation with the 3D platforming. Like, uh, I did all right. I'm pretty average at best at it, and I, I don't get much better. I, I played it when it was in the shuffler, and it was a hard one to beat. And I didn't do much other than get the minimum number of stars. Hmm, M. Oh no, we missed what what is this thing? I could find the key. I guess I did pretty well at Mario Odyssey. That game had the controls I needed to be able to do things the way I wanted to for the most part. But I wasn't like a huge fan of it. I was done with it when I beat it and I didn't want to go back. I never played it again. I did 100% it though. Played that long. It's good enough for that. Straw boy. We ain't got no straws. <laughs> what do you want from me? Hey. Oh well. Okay, next game. Actually, um, I'm gonna leave you to the jams of Pac-Man World. Will take five? Be right back. I'm gonna give you the jams of that menu music, actually. I'll be right back now. Thank <laughs> you. 
I can't believe they took away the pack music from you. Bastards. Let's get back to it. It's tiny. How dare you. Oh, I fixed it. You can, uh, hold on a second here. <laughs> Spider the video game. Cyber Spider. ID. ID accepted. System ready. Executing thought control. Downloading. <laughs> we gave the spider a knife. That guy is wearing the Steam logo, right? Like. have the spider. Spider's list. Spider is loose. <laughs> the 
the scorpions heard the news. Spider. Anyway. The video game. What? Hold on a second, wait. Oh, well, I tried to go to the options. I failed. What the fuck? <laughs> now we have an actually two and a half D video game here. Pure and nothing else going on. Hey, take this. Okay, I have no combat mechanism. I swear I shot at this guy though. I think I, I just managed to get him without getting got. The, um, the controls change when you get onto a wall. They turn the D-pad in an interestingly bad way. So I have to do like a 360 movement to do this here. Oh, we cybered. Cyber spidered up. Nice! Got the flamethrower installed. No idea where I'm going, but I got it. Why would you want this technology? What good is this? Ugh. I've done laps. Show me the map. <laughs> this, this is not helpful. Are we just needing to collect like a hundred of these or something? I don't know what to do. We're going in loops. The slash is really bad against that spider. He almost always gets me first. No, that's just for one-ups. These are not useful. Found it. The Orb of End game. Okay, from the lab port to the stinks. Sink, sinks. Oh. Oh, jeez.
Are you sure you wanted this technology? You had to have this. It's got to be like a... I mean, why would you want this other than a, a pathetic military attempt of, of some kind, right? Like, it would be like that stupid toys movie. Fuck. Ah! Yeah, that movie ended with a, a rich guy coming to the place that nearly had killed all of the civilians. And the dad was like, you ain't got enough money to solve this problem, man. And then the rich man just wrote him a check of some undescribed amount. And the guy was like, hmm, yeah, fuck my family, whatever. I'll take this. <laughs> like, he just, I mean, what else are you going to do, I guess? But um, he was, like, happy to receive it and done complaining. Small soldiers is probably what it was. Oh, jeez. Use the poisoner. We got thwomps. The beakers. Aren't they implying, like, I'm gonna have four weapons and not two? With all of this? We have more than a couple of arms, you know? Being a spider. It's pretty bad when you don't have any. You're pretty screwed in this. And if you have any... You can't really be touched by the enemies, at least. We got boom. Oh, man, very fragile in this. Just two hits, you're done. I'm weaponless again, so I'm gonna have to just evade enemies, can't fight them. Okay, boomerang is uh, blockable, I guess, or it just doesn't do that much damage. Come on! <laughs> At least I made a checkpoint, it looks like. No, I didn't. Level's impossibly hard now. Go. Okay, I found a new move. I haven't been using that. Can we just not go down there? Hey. Ah! God. He comes out of nowhere swinging, and I'm always injured when I get there, too. Because, uh, this first one always seems to bite me. Got it this time. Thank you. 
Hey. Fuck. <laughs> They just come swinging in. Ah! Fuck! <laughs> Jeez. The the beakers force you to go fast. You can't stop. I think it's fair for a spider to get destroyed by spiders. That makes sense. That happens a lot, actually. It's a pretty natural occurrence. Even if the spider does have a cyber boomerang or whatever, that's probably not a great weapon anyway. Nature don't care about that. These spiders are designed to get you. They just absolutely assassinate the player every time. Oh, come on. Bomb. Oh. <laughs> Are we like mind linked to this corpse and we're like trying to go capture him for some reason? Next. That game was alright, I guess. Not too exciting. Very loud bullfrog logo. In its infancy, the whole of creation glimmered against the dark void. But one place in the universe outshone all others for it glowed brilliantly with a magical energy known as mana. The world was eventually discovered and the first pioneers settled the land. The people dedicated their lives to separating mana from nature in order to command its powers. However, after centuries of fruitfulness, the land was rendered barren by man's insatiable greed. Fierce competition between wizards degenerated into war, great creatures being summoned to do their creator's bidding in the ensuing struggle. But the life breathed into these creatures was charged with evil, and the beasts turned against their masters. <laughs> Classic Fearing wizard for his life, a foolish wizard and his young apprentice prepared a spell, hoping to scatter his opponents to oblivion. But the power of the spell was greater than even he could have foreseen. The whole world shook with a mighty earthquake, 
in which the wizard himself perished, leaving his apprentice with the arduous task of restoring the world to equilibrium. Oh, we turned you into bad graphics. Sorry. You must return the realm to nature's order. <laughs> Is that what dragons sound like? <laughs> That's an original take on dragon. It sounds like a boar mixed with an elephant. <laughs> <laughs> and this guy is, uh, these wizards are nuts. This guy's just the apprentice. Look, we could just make a volcano. Wizards in this world. They spabble, they space traveling maniacs. Dude's the avatar. He's just the study. He's just the. He's just the intern. Danger music. Damping. Are are we a damping crowd? We gonna damp? Key assign. The finger from Nesticles here. What a weird what what the hell? Oh my god. Okay. Let's let's take it from the top here. Uh strafe left. L2. R2. Bank left is D-pad. Nose up and down. <laughs> okay, accelerate is triangle. And then, okay, so we got the face buttons as, um... It, it makes sense, I guess. Except for these, I would like to... Ch hey. Hey. What, a, what the fuck? <laughs> and now we have two buttons on this. Which they let us do. They didn't check to make sure that wasn't done. I'm good. I'm good with this, I think. I just wanted to change the strafe to R1. Yeah. This is what our CD looks like. Hey. Hey. Oh. Wow. Oh, no. Oh my. What the hell am I even doing? Here's my spells. <laughs> we got. I'm going for that red potion there. Got him. Man, sure would like to like zoom out big time, right? Hey. What did I make? What is this? My second spell just makes a tent. I'm out of juice.
Okay. Well, so much for that. I don't know why I can't do it now. That's not working very well. This game could be like a Panzer Dragoon or something off the rails if it uh, if it zoomed out the freaking camera just a little bit. Stonehenge is here. Is that good? We want that. Some kind of item. We guard this. I have no idea how to eat. Panzer Dragoon is on the list of things I haven't played also. I have no idea what we're supposed to be doing. I think that's a key problem here. Like there's this building, do we blow it up? It seems like what the boss would have wanted, but he seemed like a jerk, so... He's gone now, we can do whatever we want. I'm after these ducks. Oh shit. They're pretty tough. Can't collect these. What do I do? Now what? Even when I'm getting away from the the mess, so confused, still ugly. The waving water is disgusting. Damn, got him big time! Wow, big score. Okay, it's collecting the orbs, yeah. Is that good? <laughs> Is that good? That's what we want? We want this thing to collect orbs for us? We orb collecting. We invest in. to put it here. Hmm. 
Looks like that one's coming to get him anyway. Let's kill this guy. Rude. disappeared. Shit, they all did. Go away from my orbs. Wow. Let's go flying. Are we building a castle? That's all we're up to here? Hey. Orb up. Keep the orbs coming. Something's over here. Birds are deadly. They take a lot of work to kill. more juice. But I think that fella's gonna go and get it for me. I barely have what it takes to kill these.
Hey, <laughs> folks. <laughs> the world is fixed. Climate change, over. Atmosphere restored. Ew. Congratulations, Master Wizard. The world is restored to equilibrium. Well, there's our stats. That was the game. Oof. Hey there. Oh, we got a new spell. Speediness. Well, that was, ma <laughs> that was Magic Carpet. It is a little gross to, uh, to play. A little too gross. That's the camera's trouble. Countdown. Vampires. This is flea market Resident Evil, basically. Warning vampires, fake. Don't be fooled. They seem real with these cutting edge graphics. Don't fall for it. Show me keys, okay. That's fine with me. They get my picture. I'm a detective from a neighboring state, and I've specifically come here for a very simple reason. I'm working as a guard for the VIPs at the Casino Hotel opening party. Hey, everybody! Welcome to Vampire Countdown. I'm a homicide detective working guard duty. What? Wait.
It's party time. Oh boy. Cat allowed on the dance floor. Is that your outfit? Is that the homicide detective outfit we get? We just get a open jacket, no shirt? Oh, it's Blade. It's the intro to Blade. But maybe backwards. It's a vampire maker water. Double hockey sticks is going on in here. Freeze! Come any closer and I'll shoot, got it? Stop! I will shoot! What kind of gun is that? You all right? What are they? Get out of here! They're vampires! It's a vampire countdown. This white water turns them back to normal. What? Where did it go? Here, you Where'd your this. shirt go? But what about uh, cool you? tattoos, man. I've got one more. Wait here. I'm gonna look around. All right. Yeah, this guy's right out of Tony Hawk. Leave this area within three minutes. Hey, I didn't read that yet. Head for the screaming moon door. Use the stun gun. Search. The... Why is there like broken HTML? Point. Prevention procedures code CR01. Club Regan will be sealed off in three minutes. Please leave Club Regan immediately and proceed to a safe shelter area. Well, that's not a good start. Gotta figure out how to aim. There. Yeah, they're just copying Resident Evil, like wholesale, on that mechanic at least. Oh. Seamless. The 
the half second pause every time the camera turns is the worst thing of all time. I hate it so much. Also, there's a button to walk down the steps and uh, proceed. Oop. Hey, what's that? Cool. Nice inventory screen. Wait, this there's nothing here. Oh, I'm lost. There's three minutes to go. I got no time. This couldn't be just for ammo, right? Uh oh, this is not good. How did everyone else get out? How can there be no power when there clearly is? Back up. We're going... <laughs> this is the wrong direction, I suppose. Dang! What? How about over here? What? He didn't make it. Oaks. He didn't he didn't last five minutes. Am I good? Did the clock stop? Why is there a clock? Oh, he's still with us in spirit, don't worry. Now hold on, sir. I gotta figure out how to do that part, the part where we do the thing. The water, do I even have any? It looks like I have infinity white water. Unspecified thing. They didn't tell me how to pour it. There. It's just a, a matter of extremely exact placement. We're we'll starving this one zombie at a time. It's the shoot button without R1 being held and also being right on top of them. What you got? <laughs> I, would like, I would like to buy a map, please. I purchased map. How come we, uh, I, I know, you know, saving lives and all that, but it is a video game. 
why do we care about saving the zombies? It doesn't seem like it's actually having a practical effect, right? Like, there's no, like, zombies to human ratio that we're countering or anything. We just drink. Get it? Have this Capri Sun. We're pumping them so full of anesthesia that they uh, they fall over even as a zombie. And then we're pouring some kind of holy water on them or something. Oh shit! That was fast. Cannot see. Yeah, I figure that the gameplay mechanic is that if I don't do this, they will stand back up. Um, the first time I knock them over, they get up real fast. The second time, they seem like they're done for a long time. I'm trying right now to do it, and it's not even letting me. It feels like the first time you do it is an illusion. You cannot do it most of the time. They have to stand up and get shot back down, so it's 10 bullets per person. And they are so fast. I'm out of everything. That's the end of us, I guess. File acquired. I'll read. He missed. Now I'm safe. Oh. I'm in trouble again. We've sustained some uh, injuries. Let's drink. I drank. Why does it say loading on it? Loading what? Let's make sure this is real. It doesn't look real. Why? <laughs> Why is this? Okay. There's some subtext here. Anyway. Got the Grim Reaper badge. Wait, okay, here we have the backstory of our character, who apparently killed his partner in a... in a murder. <laughs> like, it's not an accident at all, it's just a murder. He just murdered his partner, so he's been reassigned. That sounds right. Okay, well, that's the story. Check our map out. Oh my. <laughs> I feel like I'm on an armored core map and I'm completely screwed. What way should we go for first? How about up? Up looks good. You gotta find the door behind me here. I have a stun punch now. We're gonna use instead of bullet. We're out of bullet. Completely done with bullet. I would say that we're dead as hell. Oh, jeez. That person's finished. I already gave up on the quest of turning them back to human. 
<laughs> this game is two discs, by the way. In, in terms of duration, it's got a lot of like cutscenes and stuff in it, obviously, so... Who knows how long it really is, but that frightens me. That makes me feel like it's 30 hours long. Bottle. Oh, we gotta hang on to that for later. I'll get it. I'm super lost. The doors don't open. This is like a maze. I mean, the, the core gameplay here is it's bad Resident Evil, but then even the manner that you're in in like Resident Evil 1 is less confounding on where to go. At least you have some kind of concept. I have this map that I'm lucky I found at all. And we're just trying to hope that we go the right way. Most of the doors are locked, so we're gonna have to find like the key to Nancy's haunted house and Alice's upper stairs. Oh my god, I can't even... The, the loading is so bizarre that it's throwing off my sense of direction. I'm usually pretty good at having a 3D map in my head of where I've been, but I'm completely lost because every time it loads, I'm like, I'm loading with it. <laughs> my mind has no memory left. I'm going back up. We're in an open world, I think, and I gotta find the route. This is crazy. Hey, give me that. Resident Evil is another series I haven't played enough of. I did one and two, and that's it. I got the ticket. For something. Come and get it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, that's not good. Well, fuck this. I feel like it took too long of a time for Nemesis or whatever the next one in the series was, because I liked it a lot. Like, I used to play it all the time, Resident Evil 2, to uh, some weird music. I would play it to, like, Eve 6 and some other 90s shit. <laughs> so now whenever I hear this... One hit wonder bands that run on the radio, I associate them with Resident Evil because I was playing it all the time. But uh, I think it took too long for the next game in the series to come out and I completely lost interest by then. That drink is really good, wow, that's, that drink is incredible. Combine. Let's go play Kino. I never had a PS2, so that's uh, that'll slow me down. Also, why is it so hard to do this? Jeez. <laughs> There's so much game to do here, and I haven't seen any of it because I can't even get started. Oh man. Good effort, Count on Vampires. Maybe watch a long play of this one, huh? Maybe we're gonna do a... Just commentate over one, how about it? I haven't done much of that. I'd pick this game for that. Oh boy. Anyway, hopefully actually a good game to replace that one.
What was the point of the three minute counter just to see if I could find my way in three minutes? Dino Crisis. Ew. <laughs> you have mail. This is what the UI is going to look like in 2015, trust us. Facility. Agent name, Tom. I have successfully infiltrated under the guise Hello, of research Tom. was planned. I have encountered no information regarding top secret development of new type weapons. But I have discovered... I was thinking about how I used to record videos facility. for Slow Beef and Diabetes to commentate over the, the other day. Like Urban Runner. That's research. a good one if you haven't seen that one, if that Dr. one's still Kirk up. Was alleged to have died in an accident during the course of an experiment... And Slow Beef couldn't remember who the hell I was. So at the start of each one of those, he's like, this is from... Smite? Like, <laughs> what, what a bastard. <laughs> the experiment is in the late stages of development. Regarding the staged accidental death, it appears that this country is somehow involved. Recommending that necessary actions be taken immediately. Refer to the data on Dr. Kirk. Sorry, Kirk. Next. Man. <laughs> Imagine if you had this, like if you're reading like Twitter and every time you read a tweet, it had to fade out like this and the new one would zoom on up if you had to wait for the text to type. This is the future of technology. Operation you have these CSS headers to skip down the website just open up a box like it's a like it's an application it comes the chopper flying in a storm say Countdown Wait. has expired. Cooper was going to make it. Okay, 
This is the first checkpoint. Playtime is officially over, kiddies. Something's wrong. The lights in the guardhouse are out. Um, maybe this has been a wild night of partying for the guards. You know, a little song, a little dance. Stay here, Junior. Leave the guards to me. Okay. H hey, did you hear what he just called me? Forget about it. Just let Gail handle this. All right. It's clear. It's always jarring, unless I grew up with the game, to go back to these PlayStation games and switch from movie mode to what the game actually looks like. Okay, let's do this. I'll infiltrate the facility and occupy the control room on the first floor. I should have access to all the security systems from there. Yo, Navy, what's going on? I'll contact you as soon as I clear. Doing some Dino Crisis. Hey, boss. Let me guess. This is some of your hand. You were in soldier, right? Brass is still warm. Don't trust you. These guards were shooting at something very recently. So who were they fighting? This wasn't much of a fight. I don't think these guards hit anything before getting sliced and diced. Whatever they were shooting at came in through there, ripped right through the steel fence. Well, the hole is nice and clean, but I still say you could have done this. Very funny. We still need to figure out what happened here. Continue to sweep the area. Cool gameplay. Give me that box. Oh damn. Rick can handle the inside of the facility on his own. I count on Rick. I don't know what this guy's name is. I forget. What about this? I will have the generator key, yeah. I wonder if I can, like, climb. She, um, kind of just did that on her own. Like, I only told her to... Yeah, sure. Okay, you just reach up there, okay. <laughs> hey, you having fun checking the ground? Ground checked. I'm no longer touching anything. She's just on autopilot to... <laughs> If you if you have the brains to start shoving, it shoves it for you all the way to where it goes. Don't I have it? Hey. What a weird button. It just It flips around. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out how to even open the menu.
There. Nope. That is the wrong key, I guess. going with that security system. I don't know what's been going on here, but it looks like all the power in this facility has been cut. Same here. As long as that's the situation, there's not a lot I can do. Why don't you see if you can gain access to the backup generators on the ground level? I'm on it. What are you doing here? I caught the last part of your conversation. By the way, I found a key. You done checking the ground? Let's head outside. You know, I could have opened the door, man. I could have done that. I was working on it. Yeah, we're gonna back that generator. <laughs> that gal was dead already. That's disgusting. This guy's been eviscerated. Something <laughs> tore his intestines Jeez. straight out. Look at those tooth marks. It had to be some sort of animal. Okay, let's move on. Looks like this guy spilled his guts. She just says something like that and that's it. Where's Rick at? He'd give me some emotion. I'll stand guard here. You go inside and take a look around. We have a, a commander who uh, left Cooper to die without even a millisecond of a thought. And we have this lady who sees somebody ripped in half and she's like, hmm, that's weird. And then we have Rick who's already in, in a terror state. <laughs> Just not enjoying a single second of this and suspicious every step of the way. Which is appropriate. Where the batteries at? What the? Is this what I want? Okay, we need red, blue, green, apparently. Let's get crunching on it. Now what? I think I had heard maybe it was this game, that if you do that while this is on, or whatever, you can just instantly die. If I screw around with these. Maybe it's a different PlayStation game that has this, this kind of thing. Yeah, I don't have a battery though. Do I? Hey boss.
<laughs> Not too bad. That's interesting. I will take the an aid. Oh, I see like my current st status. Well, isn't that a thing? We can like look at if we are dead. <laughs> like, how much damage did I take? I have no idea. There. No, that's level. What? Maybe it's a uh, maybe her portrait just gets red or something when she's actually here. I don't think I am. Condition normal. To the backyard. To the backyard, backyard. Maybe Rick's not who I thought he was for dependability. This isn't a joke, you idiot. We were just attacked by a big ass lizard. For real? What's going on over there? Uh, all right. Head over to the control room and we'll sort out this whole situation. Whoa! Where are we? Okay, we're we're just the huge blue box. We got to turn around again. Uh, I guess maybe she forgot that she had a watch that could call her friends. Um, she hasn't even tried to reach out to the boss yet. And she forgot to tell Rick what was happening. That's not good. Let's not miss that lecture. I believe. It's it's good to believe in yourself. <laughs> nice. Wow, what a vent. Wow. Man. You set up an apartment up here. Well, that sucks. Don't worry about that noise. I'm sure it's fine. Weird music they have playing here. Decepticon symbol. And okay, now we're in a familiar kind of place. Resident Evil games. I have no idea. <laughs> There's some kind of super key going on here. <laughs> Alt, 
to F. back thank you I guess I'll uh time <laughs> I don't know how to like load my gun or anything oh there's two of them don't worry we got this we're faking it I'm having such a hard time navigating this I only have four shots left. Is that what it's saying to me? Out of 34 max? Which is definitely not enough. That last dinosaur took like 30. Yeah, that's what's going on. So I have no idea what my solution... I'll just run for it, I guess. I have to go through here as far as I can tell. It's taking a snooze anyway. How could he have not seen a single dinosaur by now? They're everywhere. Eight one fifty nine. Okay, that makes sense, I guess. really feel the difference in design between uh, this and the last game in terms of like the camera shifting and stuff. Wonder what could have done this? What could have done this? I'm here, and I need to get here, which is not connected to anything. Um, I don't know. It's in this facility, first floor. I don't see how it could connect to anything except for maybe the far... No, there's nothing here. I got a key of some kind, I think. Let me, let me see. No. Oh, 
Oh, fuck. We got a one up. <laughs> We're gonna need it. Oh, shit. Use your CQC. <laughs> it's fine. Let's read the file real quick. Files nuts, yeah. What's this? Yeah. That's all I've got, though. Hate to see it. Oh shit! Twice. I don't know how to use these or if I have the means. I'm very confused. Yeah, we are bleeding. I don't know why. Uh, I think I might need to... Like, it's not just my health, I have to stop the bleeding as well with a different item. Which is pretty brutal. There must be an elevator around here, right? Or something like that. I feel like this is the way forward, I don't know what to do here though. It's locked. Why did that guy go so far away? Do not have that. There's nothing to do in here. I mean, where can I go now? I tried this, it didn't do anything. Oh. <laughs> He's broken loose. Stairs. What about this door? I don't think I've been this way. Oh, yes, I have. This is the, uh... This is the destination. I haven't been this way. Hey, come on, climb them up. You gotta climb the vents.
How do I get her to use her rope? Hmm. This is what they want me to do. Damn, sorry, Dino Crisis. You're a long game, I bet. We just didn't get nowhere. Let's see if this one loads. Dinos have done it. All right, next up. It all started so simply. I had just finished my usual morning routine of nude funker size, fired up the Barca lounger, grabbed a quick bite to eat, and prepared to watch some serious tubes. Little did I know, my snack was sent. The backstory of Donna Crisis. By Red. I've never seen or heard anything about this game other than memes. I've already seen more of it than I think I've ever I'm invincible. embraced. What the? Yeah. <laughs> Let's get it on. Yeah, this place has all the warmth of a Dick Clark special. Okay. I love TV. Like the slime boys, nice touch. Tail whip power balls. Think I'll clean the house. With a little cover up, I could work magic on those cars. Okay, now, okay, we can climb. Okay, I was. The run button. I'll take this, and this, and this. Ooh. 
Damn. Got bit. It's like one of those Jaguar games. The wall running isn't so bad, though. I'm out of Gex points. Probably think that hurts. Ow. Damn. Like the slime boys. Next time. I associate the Jaguar with all these weird, strange looking 2D platformer things where there's just a million items around to uh, collect. They don't have any meaningful purpose. <laughs> like they're not they're not as good as coins. There's usually more than a couple of them too. Oh, that's dangerous. Just like that spider game in terms of uh, wall climbing controls. Geronimo! Hey, reruns of Rhoda. Wouldn't you have had to do that by now to get through here? Read a book. Support your local library. Oh shit. I'll take this and this and this. <laughs> We're already recycling the terrible commentary. For me, you should not. Out of control. Hey. Level one. Ugh, ugh. Kill your TV, man. Let's get back to the mystery van. How'd you like that uh, attempt? Scooby Doo. I have no idea what to do now. Do we just leave? Back to the dome. What? <laughs> Why is this going on? Like the slime boys, nice touch. What do we have in inventory? That was fast. Let's get back to the mystery van. Mystery van? Oh, 
support your local library. What the fuck? I guess I gotta make sure I attack the guy because I can't, uh... Oh my. Tell time. <laughs> Shit. Like the slime boy. Nice touch. That was fast. Well, at least we're in here. Got me. Oh, anyway, we're back to the start of Gex. It all. Pretty tough game. I'm invincible. Well, that's what I call getting some tail. Hey. Hey, listen, man. You see this? Zoom in. I'm invincible. Hey. Look. Well, that's what I call getting some tail. Understand. I'm invincible. He's still talking Let's though. He's ignoring me. Oh, did it save my thing? Oh, I did not. We gotta be for stage again. I like how empty the game is without his voice. Like, he can't win. You can tell that there's nothing here when he's not yammering. But when he is, you hate it. Oof. Oink. The character being detestable is definitely why I don't like this. It's otherwise pretty mediocre. 
It's fine. It's a little too zoomed in. It's a mascot platformer. Those are always bad. It's not the worst one I've played. Except for when the voice is on. Then he's got my... <laughs> then he's got my vote for worst. This part's inscrutable. I'm not sure why this is even a thing. But we gotta open up the inventory and then... Magically determine which stage is next. And it's always the same order. So maybe, maybe you find them in different order in the stage sometimes. Ow. I'm not sure I understand the orbs, like their power-ups. But like, why wouldn't you always take it? You had the option to destroy them instead, and I don't understand that. These pits are the worst. I wouldn't call that M&M's game a mascot platformer, really, until they ripped off Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> uh, then I might, but um, in my head, they're usually these kind of games. They're 2D platformers. They're super zoomed in to the point where it's detrimental to the game, big time, because they really wanted to show off the fella. More than anything, they wanted to make you see them and the animations that they do and whatever they're probably advertising. Stage is endless, huh? I was just trying to beat the stage, Maddie. I was just trying to get to the end of the stage. They didn't even let me keep my remote. A gong. Can't believe this. New game coming up. Power shovel. Big ugly text. Power shovel in the row. What is this? Get it with the power shovel. Looks good. Go back to initial setting. I want to I want to watch the power shovel listen. There it is. There it is.
arcade mode, take it easy. <laughs> License King. Okay. I can do that. Incredible speed. Some points for slamming my bucket into the ground, my shovel. Hey, no problem. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, I see why you use both. That's the backing up. That's not working out very well. Didn't he say both of them together is reverse? Wait. R2 and L2? I'm gonna need to find that button. Let me check my buttons. I'm not sure that they're working right, actually. That's weird, though. No, they are. <laughs> what the heck? Uh, backing up is uh, not great. Ugh. Yeah, that's what it's doing. I don't know how to fix it. Let's hit it. The turn right is L1 and turn left is R1, which is also throwing me off a little bit. Oh no! We'll waggle back there. We're getting there. We're getting there. It's time for sand scooping.
Oh my god. It's like quap. Wow. <laughs> here are a little out of control. Is this good enough for him? Is he happy with this amount? Saiyan? Yes, he sure is. I'm having such a hard time getting it to lower. There we go. It's triangle to lower. Square to lift. Oh shit. Ah. <laughs> God. Why are the buttons so crazy? We need two and a half tons of sand, then back up. I'll try and fix my backup controls real quick before he uh, even goes over this. Hold on a second. Let me try. So you're saying it shouldn't say Z on here. <laughs> Is there a way to get that to not be a thing? I don't see how to do it. We'll just have to waggle our way backwards. It's definitely using X input. I can't get it to do anything else. Oh, went a little sideways there. Look at that sand. Not bad. Yeah, I'm getting the hang of it. Sorta. Of. 
Sometimes it gets stuck. Oh, sorry about your car. We gotta keep ambitious. We're not done yet. That's a lot of sand we gotta get in a short amount of time. I think I have more time now because I didn't wreck this time. <laughs> Sorry about the uh, the wrecking of the uh, yeah. This guy needs to give me a break. I'm doing great. I'm not gonna be able to get there like this, unfortunately. I need to fix that part of the controls. It's pretty tight, and I can't uh, I can't afford the slow motion. I can't get it to um to do anything else. Okay, that's one, I think. Nah, it's not working. Like, I can only get it to work if I press a bunch of buttons at once. I have to, like, fool it. It's, it's not gonna be easy, but it's, uh, sort of working. I think I got it. I think I tricked it. We, we maybe can back up now. It's gonna be great. And I'm a master at this now too. I've got the system. It's gonna be the perfect sand collector. It's not enough sand though. It's barely any. You gotta believe. Damn, that's a whole freaking ton. Got the big pile here, yes. Just a little bit more. Is that enough? Taking too long. Damn. Damn. At least I have the controls down. That's a really tight sand collection mission. trouble with the, the arm from this position. There we go. Sorry about your truck. You know how it is.
Jeez. Not good enough. He wants this 80 score. Oh man, I hit the truck too many times. Just a little bit of dense, it's alright. Come on, get some more sand. That's better. What a picky boss. Come on. This will do it. Backing up there is so hard. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume I can figure it out. 100 centimeters, of, that doesn't seem like much. Kind of combined pressing is required here. I'm not understanding. Oops. There. It's really hard to do. Holy shit. Oh man. I'm not lost taking progress, no. Oh, that was big. I don't think I'm going to make it. <laughs> I want to see the directions again, but I'm, I've got the gist of it, I think, at this point. I don't think input it would help you but I can turn it on um let me see there it is I think it'll still be pretty inscrutable to what buttons I'm pressing but it's up top where we press O to open it and down to drag it down and as we get lower with triangle we have to pull on it with down and press square to close it. So 
something like that. Gotta make sure it's raised enough to not hit the truck. I'm in a pretty good position here this time. has to be perfect from here on out there's no way I can't I can't get it to work anymore I don't know why I have no idea how you can get that much dirt out of here that fast. It's crazy. I'm only halfway. I wish I had paid more attention to the button inputs or in the directions, but that's super hard to read actually. Like they just, they need to be able to show you again. Like, that's 33 right there already. How? I'm already at the best I've done in two swoops. Why? Is it all positioning? And then it got reset. Why? Come on, hole, grow. That doesn't make any sense to me. There we go. Finally making some real progress. Let's keep digging until it works. Yeah, I figured I needed to do the test first before I go with arcade stuff. I didn't spill nothing. There was nothing to spill. Come on. Oh my god. I can't get the last bit at all. It's gotta do it. Oh, come on. Ah. My attempt to get it done. Gross, man. It's so mean. It's so stingy about measuring this depth. It gets so hard to dig once it gets to, uh, like, 70. I can't get it to go any deeper. I'm not swinging... Hard enough, I guess. Don't mind that, that's fine. Damage the equipment a little bit, but not too bad. Let's back up. Trying to hit the same area and it just isn't working. Oh, 
Ah. God. Fuck, man. I'm completely losing it. Like, I can't even remember how to control it after the failure. Like, that just fries my brain. I, I, I wish I could see the directions again. Fuck. Can we? Ah, uh, it's not gonna let me. Really? I guess I'll back up. I don't know. I want to see the freaking inputs again because I'm doing something wrong. This is so hard. <laughs> it's so many buttons. And they have to be done over and over again perfectly. I think your positioning matters the most of all, too, right at the start. I'm in deep focus mode here, trying to hit all these buttons at once that need to be hit. Lost ground on that one. That was big. Can it still not be there? Hey, come on. No effect. Ah. Quick. There we go. This is the camera I need. Exactly 100. <laughs> Didn't spill a grain. What a... So to do that, you have to... Oh, I can't even describe the muscle memory I just built. It's, it's like... Up and holding O to open it. Pressing up and triangle to bring it down just right. And then while it's going down, you hit it to the right spot. Then you switch to square and down and switch to from square to X to pull it up while it's moving forward. And then you press up to lift it back up so it doesn't hit the truck. Then you swing it over and hold O. You have to do all of that. Flatten the mountain with up and triangle and down and triangle, mostly. I don't think they want me to pick it up, so that did sure fix the problem. I don't really understand this one. What the hell do they want? 
Dang. It didn't start working until I cheated. I picked up sand. That's fine. Subarashi. Very long hole. Sounds crazy. Okay, R1 and L1 move forward. Yeah, no big deal. This is simple enough looking. Instead of putting it on the truck, I'm just going to have to put it in the pit. And I'll have to back up and down to, to be able to do that. Oh, I didn't get any, damn. Uh, it's gonna be rough because of how stubborn he is about me spilling it. Yeah, it's a big penalty for spilling it. Shit. <laughs> that counts as spilling. Rude. Gross. Trying to be very careful with this then. Uh, maybe too slow though. Yeah, eventually he gets mad. I can't get any damn sand anymore. We're gonna have to even this out later. Great. Why is it so hard to get? I don't. I don't feel like there's enough. Oh my, this sucks. This one's easier with a shovel, man. Get a different machine for this shovel. <laughs> this is a wrong machine. I feel like that dirt got removed from the game, the one that I spilled there, and that's the end of me. Wow. This is gonna be rough. I'm gonna drive over it. See if we can drive over the hole. Oh, 
Oh yeah, we can. I don't think this will help me much, but yeah. It'll help with aiming at least. What is this strategy? There's no way I spilled that, man. No way. We jammed. The ultimate challenge putting sand in a hole it's because the um things shift a bit when you open this up i can't just back up and do it very well i have to like aim everything so far so good though i guess i'm not making enough progress like it's just not adding up I need more sand. Oh my god. I mean, this was better at attempt, but I don't think it's going to finish. Like, it's super hard to get... Like, it's so low to the ground, it's super hard to get any more at this point. That was close. God, I'm trying to fix it, but um, I think I'm just wasting my time. It really feels like there's just not enough dirt. I don't know. Maybe I'm maybe I'm taking too much. I think I'm just using too much dirt on each area.
I think all the all of the the buttons are backwards. Like to lower it, you press triangle, and to raise it, you press X. I think that's one of the reasons it was so hard to comprehend what was even happening for a while. There's nothing left to grab. It sucks. <laughs> it just won't do it. I'm trying to dig. I think there is no there's no depth here. This is it. Like this is the pile. This is all there is. It's like exactly enough dirt, it feels like. I cannot grab anymore. Why is this so hard? <laughs> I feel like there's a second pile of dirt I'm not seeing somewhere or something. Like, it's just nuts. I came close once, but I didn't really feel like I did anything special that time. A whole load is only 6%, apparently. I think maybe I'm raising it too fast and I'm losing some dirt to the void. I think that's why. Got dirt troubles. Oof. How do you destroy the rocks? Okay, you just get it straight down, then, then just clobber them. I'm gonna go. This one looks easier. But it looks like you have to really break them. Really work hard on breaking those rocks. Come on, lift. Ah. There, I should have done this in advance. Is this how they did it? Does not seem to be working. Sworn this is what I just saw them do. I wonder if I can back up that far. Let me try. I want to watch the tutorial again. The lack of allowing me to do that has been harmful. I don't think I have the the memory to back that far up, but we'll see. Maybe we'll get lucky. This rock is impenetrable, man. <laughs> when when did the clock start? It did go that. Okay, so they're hitting the corners of it. 
with what I'm doing. Uh, I haven't done arcade mode this yet, and it's probably my last game of the night, so I'm gonna reset the clock, and I'm gonna go to bed once that clock runs out. And we'll do another PlayStation Gong show on Friday, probably. I gotta try and fix the ones I missed. Come on, break. Why well, wanna work? I'm trying. What am I doing wrong? What is this thing, man? It's made out of steel. I don't get it. Like, their tutorial is just doing it in three swings. I don't understand. <laughs> I'm back and back up. I gotta watch that again, just as close as I can. I don't understand why I can't make a single bit of progress on this. I am hitting it with the teeth as much as I can. was the first thing I noticed from the tutorial, which, oh my god, could you put some text in it? <laughs> oh man, I'm not getting it. Back up. Back up. Okay, they smashed the hell out of this rock. Somehow. They're pressing up and down and X and triangle. Which, um, first thing they do is they open it up, they never touch that again, they just have the teeth straight down. In three swings, with up and triangle and down and X, they have managed to, uh, smash it. Yeah, they're not doing anything else. And then you gotta go through and smash them up some more. I think I just wasn't speeded up enough. I wasn't doing the X and uh, the other thing together. Move. Get this out of my way. They skipped this part of the tutorial. I couldn't help but notice. Maybe we don't need to care about that. I'm not sure. Oh, I do, unfortunately. I have to get these out of the way. sucks. Oh well, at least I understand the gist of it. Then we gotta physics these. And that's gonna take another 30 seconds. Yo, BBH, what's going on? Playing some power shovel. How are you? Shovel them. What did I hit? Shit. Oh, it's because I hit those. Damn. Oh my god. There's no time. Almost. I still have to get in there. Holy shit.
I feel like there's some wacky physics I can do to get this done faster. But it's kind of weird. Come on, you tell me this thing cannot push these rocks? How heavy are they? God, there's not enough time, no! Come on! This sucks. That's too bad. I don't know what to do to, to get them out of the way faster. I wish I could pick them up or anything. Smash them more. Damn. My bad driving is already killing me here. God, there's no time left already. Oh my god, I'm completely- I'm- I'm screwed. Wish I could, uh, just reset it. I'm so mixed up now, like I've completely forgotten how to do this. Yeah, all that energy is not like effective at them. Dreadful. <laughs> this is so mean. That was good. I bought some time. God. Come on. You can do it. You can squeeze in there. Fuck. Quarter's so cramped. It sucks so much. God, man. We have to be fenced in and everything. Oh, jeez. I can see that I can knock the flags over with the uh, crane, so I will. The shovel. I'm like, I'm so confused now on the controls. It's so easy to just forget how this is even played. Oh my god. Just completely shut off my mind. I can't even, I can't even get the rock anymore. Ugh. God, I, I need to like I need like ten seconds to just like reset because I cannot even think. It's so many buttons for no reason. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. Man.
I don't know how many how much left is in the tutorial, but I wanted to finish it. These damn things out of here. No problem. Yeah. But I need my license. What is this? They just kind of jumped me in here. Wait, it didn't, it didn't give it to me. Why did I fail? Because 80 was enough points to win. I need more time and I just... Can I get these out of my way in time? I don't know what to do with them. They're so mean. Like, what the? How does that one work? <laughs> they, they're like random. They really are. Oh, man. I'm just going to chill on this one. Yo, yeah, thanks for the sub. These rocks just do whatever they want, and I need them to get out of my way in like 10 seconds, or I can't possibly do it. How come you can't break them to nothing? It sucks so much that I can't just shove them out of the way with neither this or the, the freaking tractor that should just be able to run right over them. Damn. What are these treads even for? Just for show, I tell you. God. This one's failed for no reason as far as I'm concerned. Like, it's so mean that I didn't succeed this time because I can't get them to move. You should really just be able to smash them again. I mean, that's really all that... Is. Maybe you can, maybe I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure... Twice is the limit. did. It's so hard to move. Oh. No good.
Hey, Jeff, what's going on? We're playing this Maniac game. I got this challenge to do, damn it. We gotta solve the rock. Can't do arcade till the rock is solved. Must be beat. How dare you take so many points for me for hitting a cone? <laughs> that one little rock's gonna end me, I tell you what. <laughs> we, had to, we had to back up. I have to just. That's what the problem was the first time I did it. That's no problem. I just need to do what I just did again, except for um, not use my crane as a weapon at that point, like I thought I could to save time. Thank you for the host. How are you going? What are we into? Everyone coming from Jeff's. Go. What am I caught on? Shit. I'm stuck on one of the rocks. Oh my god. That's over. Yeah, a tiny pebble has got caught on my tread, so, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, let's see here. Get out of here. Why not? I don't understand why that one didn't count. I guess it's not perfect. How stubborn is it? I'm backing up. I'm gonna see. It really, it really wants some damn perfection here, huh? Gross. There's no way to salvage this one. I guess we'll call it here. It's this mission. I feel like I, I earned that one and it still says no, so whatever. I'll, I'll call it with that. It's way too stubborn. I don't think your... I don't think your crane matters. Your scoop. I crushed that rock, actually. That rock is dust. I just didn't park. That's a different problem. It looks like I was almost done. Is that... What is all this stuff? Oh, 
I wanted to look at the uh, breaking rocks. We were on the ninth of ten. Take it easy. Uh, so welcome in everybody. This is Gong Show. I um, I'm finished for the night. We're gonna do it again on Friday. But the thing on the right is measuring how long we play this game. And you can influence by typing in the chat. Beginner mode, please. <laughs> this is like the most demented tutorial I've ever seen. <laughs> But at least we got this. Okay, this is better. This is more useful. I'm already getting mixed up because we're going so slow. understand this part pretty well. Power shovel. Man, not bad, not bad. I mean, it's actually, we worked 164,000 hours. Maybe that is pretty bad. That's like a dollar twenty. <laughs> Uh, no problem. I know how to do that. We can do better. Forty-three thousand hours. Hell yeah, crunch it. Let's just go for it. I'm gonna do my best. Gotta be the front things, but I can't reach them very well. Who's paying me for this? Nice. 
we finish the mission? <laughs> okay. Money you have now. Can't fit nice. I'm close. Go grocery. Let's do, uh, we got 10 minutes left on the clock there at the moment. Let's do another one. Destroy things. Single lane driver. <laughs> Save the turtles. You got it. Bad fisherman. Couldn't save any gold ones. Wanna try again? Not loud. I only would have sorted. See what's ordered. It's currently like spinning. Oh, down left. Shit. Now what? I swear one of these was worth 30. Uh-oh. Didn't go very well for me. I need another run at this. Now oh, I see the UI a little better. There five? Yeah. Oh, I see. They changed the prices on me. And that's why I got confused. Well.
日当を計算するぞ競技をやるああどうどれにでも押してお題はこれじゃあらすけるI'm getting stuck up on it. Damn. I wish I had a different camera angle for this. Last credit. Wasted so much time. Pulling around here. I don't think I'm going to make it. We got to go. We kept ambitious. Nice. Okay, probably the last thing of the night. Let's do this. No experience necessary. It's good. I've got none. Um, I got super distracted by this game that takes 300% of my focus, but I am not from New Jersey, I'm from Pittsburgh. I don't know if you're asking me that because I'm driving this thing or if I have an accent. Okay, we gotta... The wrong curry won't count. I think I'm screwed. <laughs> I'm gonna save here actually and just make sure I, I get a chance to win it. Honest. Did I miss? Is that not good enough? Oh, there's the hotter one. Oh, crap. Yep, reload. Let's hit it. This is what happens when you have someone with no experience. I guess this one's the first one. Still considered hot. Oh. Plenty of time to even make a terrible mistake and still pull us off.
日当を計算するぞすばらしい Yeah, I'm gonna see if I can get our cave pit a panel at the uh, Pittsburgh Gaming Convention Expo this year. We went to Magfest. We just got back from that last month. We got a good live show with a fresh arcade pit spinning wheel. Which one should I do next here? Sand loading. <laughs> I like destroying things. I've done enough digging and hole filling in that hellish practice mode or license mode. Destroy a bad car. Rotten car. Nice. Being in a live panel gives me the opportunity to do some really annoying arcade pit games that it couldn't do uh, all online. You can make people do all kinds of crazy stuff. Make them play indie games too. Pretty easily because I run the stuff myself. Oh my. I'm ready for hell. Goku blocks. Ah. Oh no! <laughs> Go. I made it. There's no time. Final credit for real. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep going just a bit. This is weird because the uh, the tracks are very particular here. I gotta make sure my treads stay uh, very safe, very safe. I'm on lightning path. Lightning path was an error judgment. No problem. Professionals are working here. Yeah. Are there only, uh. I guess we can just do the other three, huh? Maybe? Or try. I've done this already. Uh, it's probably easier than what they had me do. No, it's the same thing. It's easier because I don't have to position myself at all or worry about a truck. So it is easier than what I did earlier. Same task, less stuff going on.
I also don't have to worry about like a score that makes me lose if it gets too low if I hit like a truck or whatever with my shovel. Incredible power. Shovel. This one is sand loading. Yeah, I know. I know this one. It took a lot of doing to learn how this works. But at this point, I'd say I have a good grip on it. Got a special bonus. Sand Kings. Uh oh, highly skilled crane operator. I'll oh, know. Oh, jeez. I have input reading on so you can see what weird ass buttons they want for controls here. Oh, wrong one. Hidden with this, hey. Oh no! 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 Poof. Looks like Power Shovel's going on vacation. Hey, thanks for joining me, everybody. Will not be on tomorrow, I don't think, unless I'm doing Mega Man Legends too. but uh... Wednesday we're doing some of that. And I'm gonna do another PlayStation Gong show with some of the other games selected. Just like 20 or 30 minutes per game. Uh, that is going to be Friday. Have a good one.